you're looking for a full coverage sunscreen with some skincare in it, mm. I've been using the Misha M Perfect Cover BB Cream for almost a year now, which means I've had the opportunity to test it under the hot and unbearable Israeli summer, during the mid seasons when your skin just feels perfect, and during the dry cold winter months when even my oily ass skin begs for mercy. Water, please. So today I'll be sharing what I love and hate about the famous red BB cream from Misha. Disclaimer, this is a review of the OG formula that was sold for over 13 years and is loved everywhere. The company renewed this product's formula at the end of 2020, which is called Misha M Perfect Cover BB Cream RX. And this packaging is the original. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Luciana and I'm the mouthy friend who is a makeup enthusiast, a DIY nail doer, and who won't shut up about sunscreen. So make sure to subscribe if you like makeup, nails, and skincare because that's the type of content you'll find here on my channel. So the first thing I want to mention, like at the top of my list of pros, that blew my mind when I first tried this product and that still impresses me to this day, is how beautiful it looks on the skin. This BB cream is the definition of melts into the skin. It's easy to blend, to layer more on top, and it just looks like skin. It looks very similar to the Catrice Liquid Camouflage High Coverage Concealer. They both look like you have nothing on. Also the Catrice HD Foundation. Yeah, but that's like a matte version of these two. The second thing I love about this product is the fact that this is a full coverage sunscreen, like an actual serious sunscreen, not that SPF 15 or 20 bullshit that you see in some BB creams. This has SPF 42, which means you can rely on it as your only source of UVA and UVB protection when applying the appropriate amount, of course. This holds true for any sunscreen. If you apply just too little, you're not gonna get, you know, the protection that is stated on the packaging. Yes, you should be applying sunscreen on your eyes. The eye area is also skin, and you can also get skin cancer on your eyes. And it's like a full coverage foundation. Look at this. All the redness is gone. This is a beautiful thing. Full coverage foundation and sunscreen. Which means I have one last step in my morning routine, and that saves me time. And we all know that time is money. And talking about covering redness, as you might have noticed, the Misha BB cream is a tad on the gray side, which is a bonus if you have a lot of redness to cover like me. It really helps balance it out. Now, the fourth thing I love about this product is that this is also skincare. It has skin brightening agents that can help fade brown spots. It has emollient and humectant ingredients to help keep the skin moisturized and other goodies to give you a helping hand on your anti-aging efforts. So I'm just gonna say it, okay? If you're looking for a full coverage sunscreen with some skincare in it, then this is totally it. This thing is amazing. So the last thing I want to mention about this product that I love is that this is long wearing and mask resistant. But only if, and this is very important, you use the necessary amount of powder to mattify your face. This thing leaves you looking greasy AF after application. It will not set on its own and the company is very clear about it on the how to section. And finish with powder. You have to powder. And after doing that, the product will not move. You can go on with your powder contour or your bronzer, your blush, go crazy on the highlighter, whatever you want. And you you won't have to worry about the brush moving the product underneath. It will stay in place, as well as when wearing a mask. Of course, I'm not talking about putting the mask on and staying with it for like two hours while you're talking, because then obviously, you know, the, the motion eventually will take out some product. But if it's just like a quick 10 minutes in and out of a store or something like that, you will remove the mask and your makeup will be intact. And even if it does remove a little bit, like if you wear it for a long time, like you're going to the mall and you're talking to people a lot, what it removes, it's still not gonna look like you have missing parts of foundation on your face, you know? And mind you, all of that without wearing any primer. Yeah, you heard that right. With this BB cream, you don't need a primer and it will leave you looking flawless the whole day. Again, as long as you powder. I usually apply a significant amount of face powder when using this product and my skin never feels dry. But again, I have oily skin, right? So if you don't, then most likely you're not gonna need this much. Now, let's talk about the things I wish were different. The grayish tone of this BB cream is obviously not gonna suit every skin tone and undertone out there. So it's annoying that they don't offer lots of shades and undertones. So take that into consideration if you wanna buy this product. Now the second and last thing I don't like about this product is that it contains ethyl hexyl methoxycinnamon, which is a node chemical sunscreen filter that offers only UVB protection. The formula also contains zinc oxide, which offers UVB and UVA protection, so technically this can be considered a broad spectrum sunscreen, but you know it always leaves me wondering if I'm getting the proper UVA protection. So I think Misha could do better than that, you know? They could update the formula and use new generation broad spectrum and very photostable sunscreen agents, like these ones over here found in La Roche-Posay and Aven. And these are the two things I don't like about the Misha M Perfect Cover BB Cream. From what I read online, the new formula doesn't have the gray problem like this one has. You can see the difference here on the screen. But quite a few people were not happy with the coverage that the new formula is offering. You can check online reviews for yourself. And the new formula seems to have titanium dioxide bumped up quite a bit on the ingredient list. And titanium dioxide does offer a better UVA protection, but it still contains this guy over here. So, you know, just FYI. <laughs> 
I haven't tried the new formula, so I can confirm it has all the good things I love about this one over here, the OG formula. I like this one so much that I have extras in my drawer. That says a lot. If you're curious about which shade I bought, during the summer, the best combo for me is a mix of 21 and 23. But during the cold winter months, I can get away with wearing just shade 21 which is what I'm wearing right now. Anyway, that's it for my list of pros and cons or love and hate about the Misha M Perfect Cover BB Cream. Please make sure to hit the like button if you found this video useful. Subscribe if you had a good time and want to see more of my content. And now you can click on this video over here to watch me do a Key Beauty skincare haul. Bye, love you.